example 9. So, the coefficients of 3 consecutive terms in the expansion 1 plus a to the n are in the ratio 1 is to 7 is to 42. Find n. Okay. So, what are the 3 consecutive terms? I take them to be r minus 1, r and r plus 1. So, for example, 9th term I have to we write it as t of 8 plus 1. So, basically what are you doing? You are taking this 9, you are adding a 1, you are subtracting a 1. So, in the plus 1 I am going to join these. So, 9 minus 1 is 8 plus 1. So, this is what we do. So, in order to obtain the term number for 9th, I do t of 8 plus 1. So, I am adding a 1, I am subtracting a 1. It does not change the number, right? So, I get 8 plus 1. So, similarly, how do you do for r minus 1, r and r plus 1? So, you have when r minus 1, it is t of r minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. So, which is t of, I am going to club these. So, I have r minus 2 plus 1. So, this is my new r. Okay. So, what is the formula? N C R, which is R minus 2 times 1 to the power N minus R plus 2 times A to the power R minus 2. Similarly, what is my T R? My T R is, I am going to add a 1, I am going to subtract a 1. So, it is T of R minus 1 plus 1. So, this is my new R. So, what is it? N C R minus 1. 1 to the power n minus r plus 1 times a to the power r minus 1. Okay. Next. What is for r plus 1? It is r plus 1 itself. So, what is it? n c r 1 to the power n minus r a to the power r. So, what are the coefficients of this, this and this? They are in the ratio 1 is to 7 is to 42. So, what are the coefficients? So, it is n c r minus 2 is to n c r minus 1 is to n c r is 1 is to 7 is to 42. The coefficients are in such a ratio. So, I am going to take the first two, find an equation, then I am going to take the next two and find an equation. So, what is the first one? It is n c r minus 1 divided by n c r minus 2 is 7 divided by 1. So, what do I have? Uh, n factorial divided by r minus 1 the whole factorial times n minus r plus 1 the whole factorial the whole divided by this term. What do I have when I whole divide it? I can take the reciprocal. So, it is the whole divided by n c r minus 2. I am going to write it this way. So, I have n factorial divided by r minus 2 the whole factorial times n minus r plus 2 the whole factorial equals 7 divided by 1 is 7. So, I take the reciprocal of this. So, what do I have? n factorial divided by my r minus 1 factorial can be written as r minus 1 times r minus 2 the whole factorial times I will just write this simply as is. I will just write this as is. n minus r plus 1 the whole factorial times the numerator becomes the denominator and the denominator becomes the numerator. So, I take the reciprocal. So, what do I have? r minus 2 the whole factorial times this I am going to write it as n minus r plus 2 times n minus r plus 1. Basically, this term minus 1 the whole factorial. Right? The whole divided by n factorial equals 7. So, what do I have? The n factorial and n factorial goes off. r minus 2 the whole factorial, r minus 2 the whole factorial, n minus r plus 1 the whole factorial, n minus r plus 1 the whole factorial. So, what am I left with? I am left with n minus r plus 2 divided by r minus 1 equals 7. So, this is my first equation. So, what do I have? n minus r plus 2 equals when I cross multiply 7r minus 7. I am bringing n and r to one side and the constants to the other side. So, I have n minus 8r equals minus 9. Okay. So, this is my first equation. Similarly, when I take the ratio of these two, what do I have? 
I have NCR divided by NCR minus 1. So, I will do something very similar to this. So, I have NCR which is N factorial divided by R factorial times N minus R factorial divided by NCR minus 1. So, it is N factorial divided by R minus 1 the whole factorial times N minus R plus 1. So, it is N minus R minus 1. So, it is N minus R plus 1 minus a bracket pull up a plus 1 whole factorial equals what is it 42 divided by 7. So, 42 divided by 7. So, when I take the reciprocal what do I have this I can write it as N factorial divided by R times R minus 1 the whole factorial because I have a R minus 1 factorial here times do not forget this N minus R the whole factorial. The denominator is R minus 1 the whole factorial times N minus R plus 1 times N minus R minus 1 which is 0 factorial the whole divided by N factorial equals 6. So, what am I left with when I cancel the terms N minus R, N minus R goes off R minus 1, R minus 1, N factorial and N factorial. So, what do I have? N minus R plus 1 divided by R equals 6. So, when I write the equation, I have N minus R plus 1 equals 6R, N minus 7R equals minus 1. So, this is my equation number 2. Now, I am going to use the substitution method and solve for N and R. So, I need to find what R is. They are asking for R. So, let me erase this part. So, I have the two equations n minus 8r equals 9, n minus 7r, sorry, minus 9 equals minus 1. So, when I subtract these two, this becomes a plus, this becomes a plus. So, I have this goes off minus 8r plus 7r is minus r equals, it is minus 9 plus 1, which is minus 8. So, my r is 8. When I substitute it in one of the equations, I have n equals minus 1 plus 7r, which is minus 1 plus 7 times 8, which is 56, minus 1 plus 56 is 55. So, my n value is 55. Okay.